So this book told his life story, everything that happened that was monumental in his life. And um, there was a very special page in the book that described someone who was very special to him. Now, that page, he wanted to be kept in there. Um, it was a very important part of the story, if you would ever find this special someone again. Well, that paper described this beautiful woman that he met. One day, that was 20 years ago, he met her as they were all walking in, in a park, and there were little palms in the park, and uh, there were, was a swan, and there were doves and beautiful birds, and this park was the inspiration for his business that he now has, um, the dove bath and beyond. <laughs> so... That day when he met her, um, they they started talking and hit it off very well. But she said she was planning on traveling, and uh, she had dark black hair, white fair skin, uh, a longer nose, slender and fine lips, beautiful long eyelashes, and tall like he was, and slender. Well, 20 years went by. He had that page in the book describing what it was like that day. Well, the Going back to the business, he was doing very well with his business. The birds loved him, and he, he always took care of the birds, and they listened to everything that was going on and what was on Don's heart, the dove man. Well, one day, he... He just was sharing with people um, what was on his heart and how he, he wished he could get that woman back. And as he was talking to a friend of his who came to visit him uh, while he, it was during the day while he was selling the death bath, and he was just checking in with him, his friend and saying, uh, how he met the love of his life and was curious if he would be interested in uh, ever meeting someone and then that's when he brought it up about this woman named uh, Everly Angeline. And Everly Angeline, he, he then got out his book out. He went to that page describing her on that day. He reiterates it to him, to his friend. Well, the birds have heard Dawn talk out loud to not just this friend, but to other people and voiced his thoughts of trying to find her one day and wanting to leave and going on a hunt to find her. Well, the doves had enough. They... There was uh, one dove who was very smart uh, and ripped that page out as Don was talking to his friend that said the description of her and the whole incident. Well, Don said, I've had enough of you birds. You aren't going to hold me back from finding the love of my life. So, he packed his bag and put sold in the business store. 
or business uh, business is closed sorry and he, he wanted to sell it but at that time actually he didn't sell it <laughs> it just said business closed and uh, he he went to Europe because Everly she did say that she wanted to go to Paris and she um, she was very artistic and at the time um, she was thinking that'd be a great place to go to in the city and she can share her artwork and she was a singer too as well and uh, when she was in America that was to visit a family member and um, take care of him for a few weeks while uh, his wife when she passed away the the family member was was sick for a while and needed someone to take care until there was full-time care so she came to help her brother and then took a break to go for a walk that's how she met him Don and he said I'm going to go to Paris to see Everly and Angeline well he had enough money from his business to get there but he couldn't get a job right away um, but he he did manage to uh, make a friend with the train master and that was the guy at the train station and uh, he was saying how he would love to get this word out um, that he would like to find her and maybe tell his story and maybe she would read the newspaper someday oh rewind it was actually he put it in the newspaper he didn't say anything to the train master yet Don went to a place to get it put in the newspaper and Don had um, just had a friend the tr uh, at the train station and then the train station friend he picked up a newspaper and he read it and it sounded like it had Don's name in there and some description that he like the work he did how he uh, was uh, the shop owner for a gut bath business and he was shocked the train worker he he then couldn't wait to ask Don if this was him because it had in the paper he was looking for a lady that he met and this was him and the description of her and how uh, he lost her well Don talked to the train person and said well I read this and Don said yes this is true that is me I'm looking for her well the train station man said I have seen her she has come on my train but I don't remember I don't recall where she went but I do know her I remember the name and the description fits her exactly well the newspaper spread about It even got to the hands of Everly and Janine. She was reminded of the man that she met that day, and she wasn't fulfilled just staying in the city and having no love after 20 years. She did make beautiful artwork in the same places, but
but she did want to move on again. So, when she read about Dawn trying to find her, she decided she would go to the business. Well, communication was difficult back then, not as it is now. So she knew that area where her brother was, and she visited her brother, and then she decided to go to the business. Well, of course, Don was not there, and it said, business closed. She ended up taking over the business, long story short, because everything was there, and she would keep the name, Dove, Back, and Beyond, and continue selling things, because it had a good reputation. Well, she learned how to mold the clay and make beautiful dove bags. She was artistic, as you know. And she just hoped that one day she would meet the dawn. She felt that she could not leave there, that she had to stay. Maybe one day he would return back. Well, Dawn felt it was time to return back home. His family did live in America, like his parents and his siblings, and he didn't have a wife or kids. But he didn't find her, and it was a couple months, and he was doing menial jobs just to make days work. To do the next, go to the next day and eat, um, but it wasn't for him. He thought he just should go back. So he he decided he would travel. He went on a train. He went on a boat. He got to America. Well, he was about 20 miles, say. Well, let's say 40. He, uh, <clears throat> he was hitchhiking. He got to this area. He knew whereabouts it was, and um, he told the man his story and everything. Little did Don know that this man was someone he loved ever. He would go and visit her maybe a couple times a week in hopes that her heart would be towards him, which it wasn't, but he had that high hopes. When Don told him and opened up his heart to Frank. Frank was furious, but did not right say it. But he just wanted to get Dawn out of the way, to drop him off and not help him out to where his house was or to bring him to the place where now I really was. So, as he was uh, driving this old motor car. Frank just dropped him off. Well, it was very woodsy and there was not a car in sight for hours, miles practically. Well, they were about 20 miles away from his house. He ended up, uh, getting, he looked, and, and he was able to see there was someone who was coming with a horse and carriage. It was an Amish man. 
he asked if he could get a ride. The man, uh, he did not speak any English, but he said, come on in. And Don jumped in. He tried to describe the doves, the place where he wanted to go, to the man. He ended up, like, doing it in motion, and the man understood bird and bird place. So the man ended up taking him to the pond where the lady and him walked. And he was like, no, that's not it. <laughs> well, thankfully, there were enough doves there that they communicated with uh, the Amish person and uh, wanted Don to draw on a piece of paper so the doves helped out and they